Hey guys, so this is the second one for Greg. Check out his channel. Um, super cool guitarist too. Um, give him some love over there. Um, again, Greg, thanks for all the information and stuff. Um, I'd, I'd never ignore your brother. Um, just so much, you know, going. And, and, and again, I just have everything held for review because I don't have time to check every video that I post. So at least that way I can keep him in one spot to try to get to him. So, um, um, Greg is a huge, huge Law Bites fan. Um, and he tells me at 71... Um, this is the best band he's ever heard. So give him some love on his channel, guys, and check out some of the cool, awesome stuff he has. Um, so much goodness. Um, all right, so let's jump into this. Um, this should be super cool, as it is. Love Bites. The Apocalypse. Heavy Metal Never Dies. Never. All right, let's jump in. Watching her play that ESP really makes me miss my ESP Horizon. Um, unfortunately, they've gone so sky high in prices. Pff, can't afford one now, but um, it's hard to pause on this to talk, guys, because I don't want to ruin a guitar solo. So um, this band is just so tight, um, so well produced, well practiced. Um, they know what the hell they're doing. Um, absolutely. Um, in your face, and I, I love the double bass, uh, just that trot, you know what I mean? It's just, it's so cool. I mean, I can't find anything bad about this, you know? Sometimes you, you'll see maybe a little something, but these girls are just like unbelievable. Um, and it gives me hope for the future. Um, I was there when MTV first aired, and I saw the first video, obviously, with the Buggles. Video killed the radio star. I sat there waiting for Thriller to come out when I was a pop tart, as I call it, uh, into pop. I mean, I like rock too, but you know that's what was mainstream at the time. Um, then I started getting into docking, and from there it all went to metal. But going through the years, um, you know, you have bands that still put out some albums, you know, from that time period, but. A lot of the new stuff that comes out isn't melodic. It's, you know, it's, it's, it's like the death metal 
and all that hardcore stuff, which I love, but um, I think the melodic stuff is, you know, just better all day long. I mean, I want to be able to hear the words, you know what I mean? Um, and jam to it, you know what I'm saying? So they carry the torch for the, the future of heavy metal, um, definitely, in my opinion. Um, and remember, guys, it's just my opinion. You have your own opinion, so don't light me up on anything I say because it's just my opinion. But in my opinion, I think this band totally kicks some major booty. Um, just incredible. The other's just doing some like screaming harmonics, guys. Um, oh, I love harmonics. Um, not like Zach Wilde, who does a harmonic in everything. Um, that drives me crazy, but there are places for harmonics, and this band hits them. Um, I love Zach Wilde, guys, again, but you know, there's no. No variation, really, mostly in the way he plays. If you hear a song and you hear all those uh, artificial harmonics he's putting out, you know you know it's Zach Wilde. So um, this band is way better than him, uh, way better than he ever was. Um, 
incredible. And I love how they can have the lights now back in the day. Um, you know, when um, like lasers first came out, Blue Easter Cult was used when I went and saw them um, on the Spectres tour with Dr. Hook. Tell me that wasn't a while ago. And not long after they, they were banned and they weren't allowed to use them. Uh, you know, am I getting somebody's eye and blinded or blind them or something? Um, all right, Greg. So uh, there's two. Um, again, I appreciate you. I appreciate your uh, your cool emails. Um, check out Greg's channel again. I'll leave the link. Um, you know, guys, you gotta you gotta give love to um, somebody who's loved heavy metal 71 years. You know what I mean? Because that is awesome. That's a true metalhead. All right, so I'll catch you in the next one.